Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And before I do a video on the coffee journal, I need to to uh, squirrel. And I mean literally squirrel. With some gel plating and some squirrels. This is my second design that is uh, sold by PM Artist Studio. And I haven't played with them yet, so I need, and you know, I've got to take you along with me if I'm going to play with them. I haven't even gel plate printed since like, I don't know, is it, it, had, it can't have been November the last time. I don't know. It's possible the last time I did was when I was in, I had to have done it since I was in Massachusetts. I sure hope so. All right, let me move this out of the way for a second. And, oh, I was going to say, find something with a dark background and I was going to grab some of the paper bag up there then I was like oh this is the same color as paper bag so it will probably work just as well so I made these squirrels little doodly squirrels one sitting one standing and another one is standing but in a slightly different position <laughs> and uh, their their designs are different on each one see he's facing towards you he's kind of looking to the side and he's sitting to the side and there's little acorns and leaves. Um, a little acorn, another little leaf. The inside from a leaf, I think, which actually works as a leaf as well. And some little swirls that were part of the design. The little in innards. See these, you know, the bigger innards that you can actually use will be kind of some fun innards. Don't mind the uh, TV in the background. This is why I don't usually record at night. <laughs> Not always, but... Um, and it's possible that no one's even watching the TV upstairs. <laughs> or the one that is, reads the closed captioning anyway. And then these are the outers. So... Oops. Oh yeah, those were like little extra bits that I... Well, the either I or Mariah put on there. She, She's good at, at uh, doing some things. So I think this is like one set so like this side squirrel with these bits i think is one set and this is another set and then you could also get both sets all together so like the two standing squirrels with a couple acorns and a leaf and this one set one and, volume one and two so it has all of them so let's let's squirrel like literally get the squirrel if you haven't seen my other uh, video where I introduced my other stencil wa or masks were musical instruments, uh, funky musical instruments. So you guys can all move over there and let's play. Let me grab some paint. I'm going to try to keep it simple with just a few paint colors because I just want to play with, with the... Um, the masks more than anything and see how they do but then again I forgot paper already so you know there's that so the goal for today is to just do some quick pulls and just to see how these play out on the this thing so I'm gonna go ahead and put some down these do face each other which is nice I don't know if I did it that way or if Mariah made sure it happened that way She's good about stuff like that, so. <clears throat> and then, do we want to put some stuff in the background? If he could even hold a nut, maybe. Well, he, well should have made the nuts a little smaller. There we go. He can hold a nut. <laughs> can he hold a nut? He can hold a leaf. Maybe. No, we're not going to put anything there for now. All right, I wish I had more of these because I would just kind of have those all over. We're just going to do the two squirrels. Okay, I just do it, Darcy. Just do it. I'm going to do a few layers, quick pulls, that will give them an outline. And then I will pull them off and do... Well, in that case, I might have to actually um, let it dry at that point. But that's all right. I do have, it's not like I don't have another plate I could play with. <laughs> or five or ten. You know, I like my plates and I cannot lie. 
I like gel plates, I cannot lie. Also, I like what golden paints do to these, the UPO here. Oh, look at the little designs there. Okay, doing a quick pull. Quick pull with the paper I just had. And this will give me some wrinkles in the background too, maybe. If I'm lucky. But it's thin enough paper. This is just Amazon packing paper. Should be thin enough that I, um, of course I can't see through it like I can the, um, tissue paper. So, I don't know. Maybe go back to some tissue paper here in a minute. Ooh, I've got, oh, that can't see through either. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Some of this green is going to brown it out too much. Let's go purple it out a little bit more, maybe. Yep, I know. Oh, goober. Paint blurb. Blurby blurb. Goober. Goober. Bloober. I don't know. Booger. Paint booger. Paint goober. I'm not using a lot of paint. I probably should be using a little more paint. Like I said, it's been a while. And I'm just... I am just, uh... Slowly, right, let's grab this and show a little bit better. Also, need to be faster because it does dry. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not cool. Just the this background here, I love. You can do that without anything on there. Just you know, do such thin layers that it doesn't dry in between pulls. Uh, the problem is not getting quite enough detail. Not being able to see it is the problem. So, I'm probably going to want to use tissue. But that's kind of cool, isn't it? Alright. Uh, and I didn't plug you in. Well, you're just going to have to deal with the terrible microphone on my phone for today. Sorry. Because if I plug you in now, it's going to suddenly get louder. And also, all this paper I'm crunching over here is like right by where the microphone is. Uh, some raw umber? Sure. Okay, let's not take off the whole cover. What is wrong with me? This is just a uh, soft, ooh, soft body acrylic by Liquitex that I just uh, got, uh, I think it's the landscape set. Because those are colors I'm more likely to use. And I'm not worried about if I get my outlines everywhere. I'm okay with outlines that are um, with outlines that are, you know, the brown is somewhere on the squirrel, but maybe not everywhere. So yeah, I'm doing the layers to try to get an interesting outline on the squirrels. That is the goal here. Is that our reindeer? Nope, that's just trees. This way. Only because it will just pick up better with the parts that don't have paint on them already. That's all. Ooh, I like the, the woodsy color I'm getting, adding the the browns and the blues. All right, I only I know only have like three or four colors on there, but that's all right. I did not. Oh, I don't have lines. That didn't work for me today. So I'm just gonna try to put him back on there carefully. This I gotta tell you, trying to do feet on a stencil that still look like feet and not really weird and wonky is not that easy. Okay, I need to go thicker. I already did that color. I need more paint. Oh my goodness. I also need to be able to open paint. Ooh, there's my wasabi over here somewhere. Yes, it is up there. Thank you. This is a lot more paint. I'm going to be like, that's too much. Ah! don't like these covers, but I do like this paint. 
this isn't even the fluid one. The fluid ones tend to dry out faster. Okay, make sure I'm getting paint all on the inside, all the bits of the stencil there. Oh, 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 let's pick up with this. It's not very thick paper, so it should be all right. Of course, my squirrels will be white, but that's okay. You can ink them. Where's my brayer? Right here. Um, if you don't do a lot of gel plate printing, you don't really need to have a Baron, not a Brayer. This is a Baron, B-A-R-E-N, a printing Baron. Um, and the reason that you would use it is because, one, you get a nice, smooth, flat pressure on what you're doing. And two, because paper is very drying to your skin. And the this Brayer, he actually has really pretty ones that have pretty inlays, is Anthony Cody, uh, Cody's Woodcraft, I think it is, on Etsy. So if you are looking for a Baron, I've seen other ones for the same price that aren't as good. Or, you know, not much difference in price. Or as pretty. Mine was a little bit less because I got it naked. But that's kind of because I knew it was going to end up looking like this. It's going to get covered with paint anyway. And I probably left that down too long and I'm going to lose... Uh oh, but... All right, this is the nice thing about when I use the paper, though. I did, oh, man, except for that. That's something on me. The paint that was sticking to the Yupo came off onto the paper, which is why I like to use golden paint. But my squares are so cute. They took me a while to make those. I went through several trials and errors until I finally loved them enough to put my name on them. Let's put it that way. I don't suppose we have an outline now. I'm not sure if I... Oh, I have an outline! Well, not on his face. Okay, so we gotta go back. If I want an outline, I need to... I need an outline on his whole person, or he doesn't... It doesn't work. Go ahead and do this color again. Just because it's a little thicker, maybe I need a heavier body. Although usually, oh, that's why. I think usually I do some, um, this is way too much. Just FYI, the amount I just used is too much. All right, let me. Ooh, it's pretty though, isn't it? Um, and then if I do, if I rear off on like paper like this, it makes really fun collage pieces because you've got the, the book page in the background you know that kind of see I got the pattern of the the tail it's kind of fun so it, it's exciting to have a design being sold in a stencil I I like it <laughs> well just gonna have a painted label now. See, it's pretty now. And it wasn't, well, they're just plain before. We'll say that. Alright. Alright, where's his face and his tail? I don't want to go too hard here. Okay, some of the it's kind of fun when it comes up like that. Let's see. Yeah, connecting his nose and whatnot was a struggle. I think we have good lines. I think we might have lines now. I hope. There we go. There's the outline. This is good. Let me see if there's any paint left on there. To... See, look at that. Even brayering off on you, Poe, is so pretty. Just saying. You, Poe, is fun. <laughs> Who knew? Because, you know, they've only been trying to sell it for alcohol inks and it has apparently so many other applications 
like making stencils and masks. All right, that does need to dry. So let's go ahead and let him them, them dry and pull out a smaller, yet just as messy. This one need to go this way. Oh, I'm going to do this one different. I'm going to put down. Uh, I'm going to do some of this maroon, permanent maroon. This one, permanent maroon, golden acrylic, I guess it doesn't say if it's heavy. Who knows what it said on the back? That's when I was doing last year's mixed media and got ink everywhere at some point. Come on. Oh, there you go. A little... Make some colors here. Okay, that's interesting. Not sure how I feel about it. Well, it's going to go this way a little bit. Pull that red down in a little bit, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, of course, it's getting on my mat. Why wouldn't it get on my mat? All right. Then, this would make more sense to do it this way. And this new he shows right through there, doesn't he? Okay, and then I'm going to pull up, but I'm going to hold on down here. And I'm going to pull him off. Or her. And then lay that back down. Never pulled it completely off the plate, so it should line up. Fingers crossed. Had it lined up. And then we got that. Looks like he got shot. So maybe you don't use maroon on animals. Unless it's going to be all solid color. Oh, let's try. Uh, let's maybe not do maroon. Oop, crumbs. That was a mess. That was a mess. Just making a mess. And some green. Mix that together. Brown and green. That one is heavy body. And that one's soft body. So... Yeah, they're not gonna mix super well, but all right, I'm running out of sprayer paper, but like that's kind of cool. Um, I don't have any place to put stuff. Oh, with just a little bit of maroon in there, that's kind of cool. How are we doing on here? All right do him again so he doesn't look like he got shot Some paper once again I'm gonna hold it on this side while I pull it up and then I'm gonna pull him off I'm gonna see if anything will come off on here really look how pretty he is though like I need enough so that I can just like make them look pretty like this and put them in pieces <laughs> that's what I need all right I might have to order some I guess I don't know so there we go oops he's so cute let's do that with the other one so we can get a nice clean version of them I guess so paint first do some oh that's the new one that I haven't opened yet um here's the one that's already open no that's Naples this one's yellow ochre this one's Naples and it's kind of crappy let's see Payne's gray I don't want purple I don't want blue where's all my good colors well, let's do green gray, which apparently I use a lot, with some uh, blue, blue, green, green, blue, green, greenish blue. 
have way too much on here, so I'm just... Also, my brayer is probably bigger than what I need right now. I'm not sure. Way too much paint. Oh my. Way, 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 way too much. Also, this works nicely as a brayer option. Because <laughs> then I can use it for... For collage paper or even pages in a journal. Alright, where's one of my squirrels? Sure, a blue squirrel makes sense, right? Totally. Alright, hopefully I'm still in screen here because I wasn't paying attention. Pull them up. Lay them back down. Never lifted it completely off the plate. Also, you like that kind of stuff too, in case we ever need, in case we use it in a page in a book, then it's decorated on the outside. Okay, so there's him. So there's one, and there's two, and number three will be this guy, or girl, and I know I'm going to end up opening this because I don't know where the other one is. And I kind of want to do this with the Nico Azo Gold. Maybe not put as much on this time. Maybe. Okay, you hear that? Hmm? He's wanting me to respond to that. He can hear me talking, I would think. So that would imply that I'm making a video. But, you know, let's not pick up on those kind of clues. He's just like, how come you're not answering and responding to me? Mm -hmm. This squirrel is on fire. This squirrel is on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does he fit? Yes, he does fit. Oh, yeah, I made, I've made homemade rolls before, but I've never made homemade hamburger buns today before. So today... You know, after looking up how big they should be, because I was like, I don't know how much dough I'm supposed to use for a hamburger roll. And then the rolls I usually make are usually like in like a bit, uh, six casserole, like six, six, nine by 13 baking dish with the higher sides. And then they all just sit close to each other and just become these yummy rolls, but not easy to put like, we weren't doing hamburgers, so we were doing uh, bacon, egg and cheese sandwiches for supper. And uh, so I decided to make the, I hope I used the right one. Oh yeah, I think I did. To make the, yeah, to make the bread for the sandwiches. I've never had fresh homemade rolls for bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich before. I've done nothing on big biscuits, man. And I almost was going to be pancakes, but I was like, felt like making bread, apparently. <laughs> pancakes, well, I, pancakes are more effort believe it or not because you i only have so many pans and then you gotta wash all the pans you use you know anyway so here's them so there's the three of them in all their glory now let's go ahead and pick up the other two with their little outline happening here and oh they're still wet it's gonna mess it up a little bit but i might just do is just kind of Cut that down a little bit just to get some of the wet wet as long as this face is still and I don't mind if the color gets mixed in with the the pickup color which is just gonna be white and I think that I'm gonna use this brown paper I'm getting a, a big enough piece of the Amazon well that did not rip easy that did not go as planned. All right, let's see. Hopefully, I haven't messed this up too much by not waiting. I'm not a good waiter. In case you're wondering, no, I was never a server in a restaurant. That kind of waiting I could probably do, because I'm 
pretty nice person. Doesn't mean I get better tips. Because really, it doesn't matter how nice you are sometimes. It depends on who you're serving. My poor Miha had a 15 top the other day. The bill was over $200. Well, they started out, she said, would you like to check uh, all together or separate? And they said all together. They complained all the time, even though their meal was out there faster than she had anticipated. And then as it was time to go, they wanted their check separate. And for over $200, which took her like a long time to do, I would have been like, uh-uh, this is what you said. This is what you get. You guys can figure it out. Maybe I wouldn't make a good server. Um, and then she got $6 tip. That's it for a $200 bill. I was like, and you know, 15 people, they're sitting around for a while too, talking. And I was just so, I was so upset for her. I was just like, that's just not right. See, that looks kind of cool too. So there they are with their outline. And uh, I think you got to work a little, you know, pay more attention and use your tissue to get the outlines really well. And also using the uh, golden fluid acrylics work better. But they still came out cute. So, you know, if you want to go check them out, they are at pmartiststudio.com. And I like them. What do you guys think? I hope you like them. And I hope you have a delightful day. Love you.